In order to talk about how the banjo has changed over time, we can begin by looking at the akonting, the three-string instrument played by the Jola people in the Senegambian region of West Africa. Like the early banjo, the akonting has a drum-like gourd body and strings of different lengths. Two features that distinguish the banjo from its West African counterparts are the addition of a flat fingerboard and tuning pegs. By the 1840s and 50s, the banjo underwent another transformation when it was commercialized for use in theatrical settings. Performers needed louder instruments that could project. So instead of a gourd body, banjo builders used wooden hoops. Instead of using tacks to hold in place the animal hide head, they used a more elaborate tensioning system with a flesh hoop, tension hoop, and hooks, shoes, and nuts. This made the banjo's tone more adjustable because you could tighten and loosen the head, especially in response to humid weather. In order to accommodate and adapt to European musical traditions and popular culture, the neck was standardized to accommodate five strings, four long strings and one short thumb string. It wasn't until after the American Civil War that the banjo was further industrialized with more hardware and ornate carvings and inlays. It was also during the late 19th century that we see the increased use of frets, pieces of metal wire that run across the fingerboard to improve intonation.